Perplexity AI Labs tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything that you can do with Perplexity AI Labs because when I thought that Perplexity couldn't get any better, they dropped Perplexity Lab and it's honestly like a significantly elevated version of their already amazing deep research feature. With one prompt, Perplexity can now create charts, build helpful dashboards for you, and generate assets, and I never expected it to be able to create something so detailed and exactly thought out. So let's get started and access Perplexity Labs first. To get started, click on sign in or sign up to create your account. We're going to continue with Google for a quick and easy sign up. And I'm just going to log on to one of my accounts on Perplexity. Now, Perplexity Labs is a paid feature on Perplexity, so it only costs $20 a month. So you're going to head on over, log on to your account, and you're going to see this light bulb icon. When you click on that, it asks you to access Perplexity Lab via a subscription. You can either get the Max or the Pro subscription. I like to click on Get Pro, and I'm just going to proceed with my payment information over here and purchase Perplexity Pro. Now, once we've completed our purchase, we're going to proceed and click on Get Started. Now, once you've clicked on Get Started, we can proceed on with Perplexity Labs, and it's only $20, so it's totally something that I do think is worthwhile. Starting off with our first example, let's say you're thinking about launching a direct-to-consumer focused beverage as a coffee alternative. Think about competing with something like Magic Mind. You want to understand the market and find gaps and position yourself strategically with deep research and you can get a solid report. But watch what Labs does differently and I'm going to give it this prompt. So I wanted to act as a senior market research analyst specializing in direct-to-consumer beverage industry. My business is considering to launch a beverage as a coffee alternative. Your mission is to analyze the competitors, identify the unmet needs and research emerging trends and suggest opportunity angles. Now, this is going to be the prompt that I'm going to add. So I'm just going to add that prompt over here. Now, once I have put in my prompt, I'm just going to ask the answer via their simple research tool. Now, this is going to be their simple research, and you're going to see a very big difference when it comes to simple research versus using their labs research. So previously, I put in the same query within my simple research tool, and it's going to give you a basic answer. But if I customize this, and I'm going to run the same prompt with our basic labs as well as our deep research tool. So first off, I'm going to run this on labs. Not only does labs give you a minute by minute answer, it is able to show you how it's going to create some actionable insight. And this is how you get the most out of labs. You treat it like a professional research team with years of industry experience. So it's not just searching, it's actually showing me the tasks it's completing in real time within the tasks tab. So you can see it's gathering data, analyzing customer sentiment from Reddit forums, searching ingredient trends, as well as strategic visualizations. So this can take a little while. Usually research is going to take around five to 10 minutes based on my personal experience. So you do need to hang on tight, grab a coffee and let it do its thing. You can just leave it running and do some other things in the meanwhile because your projects can take a little bit time. So I'm just going to let this be completed. So now it has completed the amazing report. Now look at the amazing report that we have, starting off with the basic title as well as the executive summary, some of the key findings, and then it has included this chart, which I can also download. Now if I scroll down, I have a market overview, growth trajectory, and we have the highest growth segments as well as market size and segmentation. Then below that, it even has forecast. So it is projected to nearly double by 2032. So it can even forecast based upon previous data. Below that, it has consumer demographics and behavior. Then it has built this amazing little graphic that I can use. So this is going to help me in visualizing and building amazing presentations based upon the information it has gathered. Then it has competitive landscape analysis, this visual, as well as a few of the other visuals, competitive positioning gaps. So stress-specific formulations, personalized nutrition, taste optimization, and corporate wellness. 
wellness, consumer needs, and market opportunities. So social media in convenience, natural, premium quality, health and wellness, sustainability, caffeine reduction, functional, uh, as well as personalized nutrition and stress and anxiety. So the opportunity gap for stress and anxiety is the highest. Below that, we also have some target consumer insights, demographics, motivations, as well as key trend drivers, ingredient innovation opportunities, as well as strategic market entry recommendations. So the highest is personalized nutrition and a subscription-based model. And they also recommend DTC infrastructure as well as brand positioning. They have some medium-term initiatives as well as long-term innovation, financial projections, pricing strategies, and DTC benefits, customer acquisition channels, including content marketing, influencer partnerships, corporate wellness programs, and social media. And then they have a conclusion and any related queries that I might have. It has used over 117 sources. It can even break down the assets it has created as well as the steps it has taken. And this is how it can create some amazing, valuable reports for you. This is super insightful and this can give you a deep dive into, you know, anything. Now, if I was to copy this exact thing, okay, and I'm going to open up a brand new thread, and this is the answer it gives me on the regular searching. So if I search regularly, this is all it has created. Sure, it's great. It has some really amazing information, but when it comes to a detailed report, if you're trying to find something that is going to be super detailed, super helpful, then that definitely is going to take the cake when it comes to to a lab report. Not only are lab reports going to be super detailed, but you can even ask it for some other types of content. So if you've got a competitor landscape analysis with a specific ingredient and you have some really you know great information, but you have no graphics, no visual elements, you can ask labs to make those visual elements for you and create some assets that can literally be dropped into a PowerPoint presentation. So this would have taken me weeks to complete on my own, but with the help of using the Perplexity AI Lab tool, this can be simplified. Now, if I want to do some deep research or I want to do some analysis within the research landscape, so I want to do some research within, find the literature gap in IO psychology and suggest a three variable quantitative research topic with suggested scales and populations. Now, I have just asked it for a research idea, but I've asked it to be a three variable research idea with skills and populations. And finding a good skill and population for your research can take so much time. When I was doing one of my own researches, it took me around three weeks just to find the appropriate skills with the actual defined variable that was being discussed to be measured within those skills. And now I can simplify this all of this week's worth of work into one query with Perplexity AI Labs and it can take 10 minutes to gather all of the resources and create my project for me. Instead of having to wait weeks and weeks for my seniors to approve this project, I can make this within 10 minutes, then send this report to one of my supervisors and they can see how I have found an amazing research topic and I can proceed with my research. So this is how the Perplexity AI Lab tool is just going to simplify your work for only $20. I do think that this is something that you're not going to find anywhere else with an amazing tool, whether it's ChatGPT or any other AI tool, they do not have these types of deep reporting tools where AI research is heading because this is a forefront of AI research, not just what every other platform is doing. They are able to combine visual cues as well as some of the text to build some amazing reports that are super functional and easy to understand. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.